Hi, I'm Colin and welcome to How to Paint Watercolours. So if you're ready, we'll get started and we'll paint this one. Hello YouTubers and welcome back to my channel, How to Paint Watercolours with me, Colin. I've stretched my paper and I'm just leaving a thin film of water on the paper. And if you're enjoying these painting videos, please click the like button and subscribe. It does help with the algorithm and I'm just bringing in some cadmium yellow light and surrounding that some cadmium yellow deep bring it down through the sea then I also want to drop in some quinacridone gold just in areas get a little clean water yellow light spread this out this is a mixture of Indian red French ultramarine and Payne's grey plenty of water with this almost getting the maroon colour bring it down it doesn't matter if it turns grey drop some in here Cad yellow deep and cadmium red. It's creating a, a lot of interest in the sky. Bring some of this into the sea. is laying flat at the moment. I'm just going to create some interesting shapes. As you can tell this is a sunset in a tropical setting. have plenty of time to do this the paper is wet and then with a rolled up kitchen towel some clean water I just want to dampen it and because I want I want some light patches in the sky because we'll be putting a second layer I want to take some paint out but I do want some light patches to show through and some of the underwash as well and if you dampen it it doesn't take as much paint off as if it was really thirsty got me yellow light and a lizard and crimson quite a bit of a burnt orangey colour, quite a heavy colour just dripping it in bring in a little onto the beach and then we're going to let that dry Now that you've allowed your painting to completely dry, you've either taped it down or you've got bulldog clips like me, it must be absolutely dry because we're going to re-wet it and we're going to add a stronger colour. And the reason why I'm re-wetting it is because I want the colour to stay on top and not mix with the colours underneath. So with the biggest brush you have, start at the top. And in the least strokes you can manage, bring it down to the horizon line. Remove any excess from around the sides. The tips of a brush 
then with a stronger version of that colour I'm taking a flat brush and we can begin to bring some extra clouds in or oh, adding interest to the sky allowing some of the other colours to show through one or two areas always remember this will dry lighter Just taking a damp brush softening out some areas won't get long to do this just pulling some stringy bits out hardly noticeable so I'm going to leave that to dry now that that's dried, I just want to add a little bit more movement to some of these clouds. So I'm taking a damp brush, and this is a mop brush, and I'm just going to remove a little bit of paint to give these clouds some of that misty look that you get. Very gently taking it off. see that you, you're rolling clouds and the, the, the pillowy effect is now coming out a little bit of a hard edge there so we'll take that out give me some clean water I'm just going to wet the headland area at the back here just water the uh, cloud colour down drop this headland in dropping in some shadow to the back of the hills and then we're going to let that dry now that that's dry we just need to strengthen up the sea area so I'm going to re-wet that again Cadmium yellow light Cadmium yellow deep Bits of quinacridone gold. Some of the orange, cadmium yellow deep, and cadmium red. There's also a wave in here that I just want to lift out some paint to give it a little bright spot and then we have to leave this to dry now that the, the sea has been deepened what we're going to do is glaze over it just to send it down even further sometimes a watercolour can have many layers on it I'm taking some of your sky colour or my sky colour which is the near red French ultramarine and Payne's grey making it quite watery because I want this to be basically see-through Start from the edge, just pull some in. It's 
using a soft brush just to soften the, the front edge. Then just to darken it up under the clouds. Again, that has to dry. Okay, now that you see it's dry, I'm going to put some uh, waves in on this. So I'm just adding some of the glaze colour to the thicker colour just to thin that down a bit. Just check that for its strength. I think that will do it. And then we can begin to add some background waves, very small ones. them random or as random as you can just by touching the tip of the brush on this is a very simple way to put waves in just indicating it with a few marks that's all to a bigger brush once again we're going to leave that to dry now that you see it's dry with some dark mixture then some terrain and burnt umber will do it we can put the palm trees in I think we'll put one here. I can remember where it originally went. If you have a mop brush, whatever mine it is, a small mop brush, we'll put them in with a mop brush. Palm throng on, needs to be a bit longer than with your mop brush. Take some of the same dark mixture then just using the tips, the tip of the brush where the hair now lightly touch and pull. Turn the brush over. Just the tips of the brush. Some of the sky colour. Indian red, French ultramarine and Payne's grey. French Ultramarine and Burnt Umber. Then I just want to lift just a little paint out. Just to create one or two little highlights on the uh, sand here. Or the sand dunes at the top up of the bay. where the sun would catch it. It just adds um, extra interest rather than it being one solid colour. 
and then we're going to let that dry. Once your painting's all clean and absolutely bone dry, you just take a craft knife and just at the tops, I mean I've already done a lot of them, is just scrape off just the paint, just revealing the white paper beneath. And this will create your highlight on the top of the wave. I'm going to take some Naples yellow straight from the tube and maybe just drop a little highlight in on some of the leaves on these. Just where you think it would be catching the light. Even a little down here on the tree trunk. If you've enjoyed this video please click the like button and subscribe subscribers are always welcome and please you are welcome to leave a comment i do normally manage to reply i'll leave a link in the description box to the videos that i've made for youtube and some suggestions at the end of this video for some other videos you might not like to watch from this channel a little down here help separate the trees there. Now you get round to one of the best bits. You get to sign it, mount it and frame it. And I'd like to thank everybody for watching. So I'll see you next time. And thank you very much for watching. Thank you.